amigos who want to take a picture in the zebra. It's a picture that's worth a thousand words. A donkey painted like a zebra. Come on, you're next. It's the heart of hundreds of photographs. Simple yet charming, and most important, memorable. Yeah, I know. It's just a really Mexican scene to take home to the family. I equate it to Tijuana. When I, just from early childhood, I remember Tijuana and the painted burrow. The animals are easy to spot on Avenida Revolución. There are about 12 along the strip, each with a different setting and style. To those who see them daily, they're almost non-existent. But to tourists, they're an alluring sight demanding attention and a smile. Oh my gosh, look at that hat. Maria. You don't, you don't tur walk down the street in the mall in San Diego and see that. You don't see that. The origin of this icon dates back to the 1930s, during the height of Tijuana's Agua Caliente Casino. It was a time for great entertainment and spending for thousands of tourists, but casino entrepreneurs saw something more an opportunity to market an old-fashioned image of Mexico in the casino, so visitors could take home a memory of their trip. Se van a ofrecer espectáculos muy especiales, muy sencillos, el conjunto de música mexicano con sus zarapes, el jarabe tapatío, algunas eh, piezas de danza o de música exóticas. Professor Mario Reyes from the Autonomous University of Baja California notes that it was not long after that that this image was taken to Avenida Revolución. Back then, only a picture was sold. Now, nostalgia is also part of the sale. We drove down here and I saw it and I remembered from when I was five years old and my dad brought us down here and we got our picture taken. I don't really remember it other than seeing the photo. My mom still has it somewhere and I saw it maybe 20 years ago. Others, who have left their native Mexico, come back to this border town and reminisce about the past. Ironically, even though this picture is equated with Tijuana, Experts say the image itself has no concrete roots in this border city. Although it was developed in Tijuana, the image reflects a traditional rural Mexico that was never really seen here. Nonetheless, tourists are drawn to it. Con montañas cubiertas con nieve típicas en México, que no son de aquí tampoco, con una figura con una figura con la indumentaria azteca, por ejemplo, que también no tiene nada que ver con nosotros, particularmente, ¿no? En la región and why the black and white stripes on the donkey? It was a technique developed for a better quality picture. Tuvimos batallando puesto que los burritos eran blancos o pardos, se perdían en las fotos, entonces no tenían mucho color. Entonces a uno de los pioneros se empezó a pintarlo como cebra para identificarlo en las fotografías. Es de ahí que nace ya el burro cebra icono de Tijuana. Since then, the image has been marketed from buildings to t-shirts and shot glasses. The pictures have gone from black and white to color. Yeah, this industry also holds a very democratic business sense. Every week, owners and their donkeys change locations so everyone can have a fair share of the market. Some locations have a higher flow of tourists than others, so with this rotation, they all reap the benefits of the most profitable areas. Go ahead, guys. Get a photo. Take your picture. And as generations come and go, the picture that's worth a thousand words still brings forth a thousand memories. This iconic image keeps adapting to the times and, as always, gives another story to tell about Tijuana.